Hi guys and welcome back. In this video we'll be looking at how to improve your performance in the editor and make it run a bit faster because Unreal Engine 5 is indeed a little bit demanding and if you guys have any questions or anything regarding this video make sure you guys do join my discord server and there's also a link to my patreon if you guys want to support there. So without any more delays let's get started. I'd made a video on this over a year ago and it's still the same but the mic quality and stuff is going to be a lot better this time. So the first thing obviously and the solution which I won't emphasize on is lowering the engine scalability settings. It will go ahead and compile your shaders once again so it says preparing shaders so that will happen but your performance will improve but that's not the solution we'll be capitalizing on. So the first thing you can do is head into your project settings and over here if you just type in lumen you would find dynamic global illumination method and you can change this to none or screen space anything is going to improve performance so just do none and for the reflection method as well do none or screen screen space so one thing to note is that your visual quality will go down so that's one thing to note but if performance is all you need and you have like a slow system this is definitely a viable option so once you have disabled lumen what you can do is you can type in shadow and over here you should find shadow map method and instead of virtual shadow maps you can type in shadow maps. So this should improve performance a lot. Once these shaders are done compiling you will see that the FPS would have gone up by a lot. So without any of those changes I was getting anywhere around 150 frames a second. Now in just a moment we should be getting a lot more than that and other than that I would also like to mention that you can change the anti-aliasing mode. By default in Unreal Engine 5.1 if you head into your project settings and if you type in anti-aliasing you would notice that we are using TSR and it takes the most hit on your performance. So what you can do is you can change it to something like FXA or MSA. FXA is going to look trash but it is going to give you a lot of performance. So we can choose something like MSA and as you can see we already have a lot more frames. So we are getting anywhere around 300 frames a second which is totally acceptable. And now if I just make this low although I wouldn't advise you to do it. I mean I'm pretty sure we just exceeded the limits here so it's probably the CPU which is bottlenecking at this point not the GPU. So these are a couple of things which you can do and few more things which I would like to talk about while you know you're working with the actual stuff in your level is uh, apart from enabling Nanite if you have your models using your regular LOD system. What you can do is you can head into your editor over there. So I'll just go ahead and copy something from the engine folder. So content basic shapes for example I'll just take this sphere. I'm going to copy it over and I'll just paste it in my content folder. So all content and I'll paste it in here. Now this is a static mesh or rather whoops I copied over the material. So let's go ahead and do that once again basic shapes. So we have sphere somewhere, yep sphere, copy that over, content and we'll just paste that in here. So ignore the material. Now inside here what I want you guys to do is apart from nanite, now nanite is going to improve your performance. Apart from that if you were to just type in triangles you'd see you get an option over here once you enable nanite. So I'll just go ahead and do that. So enable nanite support. And you can go ahead and edit this keep triangle percent and settings like this. And if you're using the traditional LOD system you can head down here and change this to something like 50. I mean depending on your shape. If your shape starts looking a bit weird you can go ahead and increase this number. So if I just make this very low you'd see that the shape will look weird. So this is too much so about 50 was in fact fine for us. So as you can see still doesn't look terrible maybe you could do something like 60. So this is going to help improve your performance a lot. So if you just drag in you will get the lower poly one. 
so that's about it guys so these are the ways in which you can improve performance in the editor so your scalability settings and apart from that you also have the various things we discussed under the project settings so i hope you guys learned something new in this video and i hope this was helpful uh, if it was make sure you guys do leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and make sure you hit the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos goodbye